Sketchpad. It's Sketchpad Podcast. We back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page, man. So look, everybody's saying something. I ain't gonna say what they saying, but I'm just gonna say everybody's saying something. So we going, we gonna react to this Drake and J Cole, man. You know what I'm saying? And see what's really going on on here. So we be back, man. Who raised you? Oh my god, this is so hard. Oh! last bar was crazy oh my god uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves you know that's why they have parents oh eat each other what yo i yeah, can't I understand it neither i'm just ahead of it all right sketch Red podcast we back make sure you like share, subscribe to the page so today we're going to be talking about some of the comments that people have been saying about sexy red um and her support for trump and um, we're going to play a little video from Jamel Hill and what she said. You know what I'm saying? And we'll be back. All right, yeah, we back, man. We reached 10,000 subscribers. Thank y'all so much. If you want to donate, the Super Chats are down. So if you want to donate, links in the description, Cash App, PayPal, all that good stuff. Um, Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and uh, Facebook. <clears throat> Sketchpad Podcast. Greatest podcast in the world. So we're going to get right into this, man, because I got a lot to say on this topic. So I'm not comfortable sleeping like this. Yeah, I, I'm going to pause it, bro. All right. So, yeah, let's get into this, man. Jamel Hill and what she said about Sexy Red. But go off, Sexy Red. Aside from the misinformation, Sexy Red's ill-informed comments represent some very large problems. For one, she made those comments on a podcast called This Past Weekend, which is hosted by Theo Vaughn. And I'm trying to figure out why on earth Sexy Red would ever appear on this particular platform. The host is known for being very conservative friendly, and that's putting it mildly. Previous guests on this podcast have included Roseanne Barr, who set fire to her career because of racist and anti-Semitic comments she made. Tommy Lauren, a well-known conservative fool who has said so much dumb shit, I need another 20 minutes to explain it all. And Robert F. Kennedy Jr., who the other Kennedys don't fuck with because he often sounds like the crazy uncle that had a little too much wild turkey at the barbecue. He's constantly peddling baseless conspiracy theories. Now, now, when I voice criticism about Offset's interview with podcaster Bobby Althoff, this is exactly the shit I was talking about. Black artists going on platforms that don't align with the culture they are trying to serve because of the obsession to go viral means more than having some substance. Now, conservatives in general also have a long history of using black faces to spread propaganda and make them feel comfortable about their own racism. Oh, hey, Tim Scott. Sexy Red's infatuation with Trump reminds me of how a lot of black people were fooled by Trump before he was president, welcoming him into the culture. All right, man, let me go off on this goofy bitch real quick. <laughs> Listen, man, let me explain something to you, uh, Jamel Hill. First of all, you are a person who works for the Democratic Party. You are one of the arms of the Democratic Party. For you to sit here and say that conservatives, conservatives who usually are, who are the ones who fought to free the slaves, who are the ones who, who uh, 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 wrote most of, the, most of the bills, they were the ones who wrote it. They were the ones who approved it. Most of, most of those Republicans during the civil rights movement and, and black people having their freedom, you know who went against that? The Democrats. But what cracks me up is people like her, they always talk about black people serving white people, right? But at the same time, didn't you work, didn't she work for ESPN, which is a white company? This is what this is what kills me about people like her. Right? 
they always talking about black people who don't go with their with who don't run with their agenda. Sexy red. If if this is politics, there are two parties in the in the United States. Well, three, but mainly two. You can stand with one or stand with the other. Either way, you got to stand with one of them to a certain extent. Some people like to stand with the left. They have a compelling argument over there. And there's some racist things over there, i.e. Joe Biden. What kills me is that you'll sit here and you will literally say that Trump is a racist. And he said a lot of racist things. But you will never, ever (laughs) criticize Joe Biden, who clearly has a laundry list of saying and doing racist things to black people. He literally said something on Charlemagne's show about if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. And you'll sit here and talk about Trump. But you don't never call out the Democrats. Oh, listen, I'm on fire right now. You, Talib, all y'all, y'all race baiters. That's it. You make your money off of race baiting. You don't do nothing else. You don't help the black community. You claim you bring an awareness. Where? We all know this already. Nobody's stupid. People like Trump. So what? Who gives a... If people like Trump, it's the same thing if somebody said they like Joe Biden. He ain't no better. So how is it that you are sitting here telling people the history of Trump, but you ain't giving the history of Joe Biden, but you support that party. That's how crazy this is. That dude is worse. He's been worse. When they wrote the crime bill, lock all those black people up. Kamala Harris, another one who talks about white supremacy, and she's married to a white man. (laughs) <laughs> how the f- how are you talking about white supremacy when you're married to a white man <laughs> these people are frauds how you gonna sit here and say this this is so crazy to me how you gonna talk about sexy red but you don't call these other people out you a fraud you a fucking fraud, Jamel Hill. You a fraud. You don't call out nobody. You call out what you like to call out. That's it. Because if you really believe that people are racist, then you will call out everybody that's racist. But you would never call out Democrats. You would never call out Democrats because you work for them. You a slave for them. That's the crazy part. All y'all on here, every one of y'all, Especially you, Talib. You another one. You crazy. How you gonna call somebody a Nazi when you support the Democratic Party who supports Ukraine who's filled with Nazis, nigga? You niggas are frauds. Every one of you niggas. It's crazy. You talk about misinformation. As if everybody's stupid. People can look. They got a phone right in their hand. Tell, oh, black. Oh, Trump never did nothing for black people. Really? What president has done anything for black people? They're the president of the United States. They're not president of black people. It's the United States. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> How the hell are you going to say he didn't do anything for black people? Well, Obama didn't do anything for black people either. And he was black. It's not a separate thing. If you're the president of the United States, then you're the president of the United States. How you going to talk about how you going to talk about racism, but then you talk about segregation. You literally talking about segregation. It's yo, I, I could go on for hours on these people, man. I could go on for days because they all fucking frauds. Every one of them. 
That's why I don't listen to none of them. I'll listen to them just so I could debunk them. That's it. Because it's to me, it's so crazy how you will sit here and say, Trump ain't lock up no black people. None. Actually, he he actually he lets some out. And he got some out of other countries. How long did it take for Joe Biden to get that, that basketball player out, out of Russia? How long? Trump, Trump gave uh, Trump a uh, pardon, a bunch of black people. And they try to wave that away. This guy ain't pardoned no black people. I, I, to be honest with you, this guy sent all the Haitians back to their country on a plane. Racism, please don't talk to me about racism. Don't talk to me about racism. If you ain't gonna listen, Jamel Hill, if you're not gonna call out the Democrats and if you're not gonna call out the stuff that they support and you're not gonna call out any of that, don't fucking talk to me about Trump being racist. I don't wanna fucking hear it because you are a fraud. If you ain't gonna call out everybody that's racist, then don't talk to me about racism. Shut up. For real. You're a race baiter. All y'all. Please. 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 See what y'all done did? Y'all got this man's blood pressure up. He done, he, 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 he done start spazzing. You know what man, I'm saying? Man, you don't understand, man. You don't understand how passionate I'm about this because Oh yeah, I, I know. I'm 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 upset because I'm not more upset about them having their opinion. I'm more upset of the fact that they don't keep it fair. That's that's my problem with people like her. They talk up they talk about one side as if the other side is angels. But then they'll say, Well, they both bad. But like, well, why you ain't talking about them? But go ahead, man. I'm sorry, man. I'll let you go, man. Nah. Nah, uh, you good. Hey, listen. Uh, I'll say it before and I'll say it again. You know, um, you can't keep allowing people to tell you what to believe in and what not to believe in. You, it's your choice. It's your choice at the end of the day. You know what I mean? The thing about belief is that you gotta use your common sense. You gotta see what, 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 what the uh, the silver lining really is. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be able to look through the fog and figure out what is what for yourself. Look, everything that my man said is accurate. You know what I mean? You can't you can't be biased on this. You gotta, you gotta see, you gotta see everything for what it really is. You know what I mean? If you're gonna call out one person, you gotta call out the other. Simple as that. You know what I mean? You can't be, you can't be wishy-washy or whatever. You know what I mean? Because when you're wishy-washy, you know, people are gonna see for what it really is and you're gonna get called out on it. And that's just the way it is, you know? Like, you know, uh, I, for one, you know what I mean? I believe in what? I choose to believe is accurate for me. I can't speak for nobody else. You know what I mean? So what I see, what I see is going on out here is a battle between both sides. And one side is not willing to give on the other side. So they clashing at the moment. And honestly speaking, Who's ever going to win is going to be where most likely everybody's going to uh, gracefully walk with. And my opinion is, like, you know, we already know what's going to happen because it's happened. I ain't got to say it. You know what I mean? We already know what's going to happen. So let people have their own opinion. You know, let people... Let people think for themselves, you know? Like you said, we, everybody got a cell phone. They want to figure it out, let them figure it out on their own. We got Google, we got Wikipedia. 
Is everything always accurate down to a T? No, but it's accurate enough to a point where if we see a flaw in it, we can go find out where the flaw is coming from and then figure out that, oh, this is right, not this. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, you know, I, I hate when people do stuff like that. You know, like they want to they want their opinion to be your opinion. And that gets on my nerves. You know, it, it, it happens in music. It happens in politics. It happens in everything. You want me to believe what you want me to believe. And it don't work like that. I'm always going to have my own opinion. You know what I mean? And you frauds out there that keep trying to tell people what they should believe in and let and not let not let people not have a mind of their own. Y'all the real problem. I'ma follow what I want. But it's people like her. Now, I don't know what her beliefs is. But mm-hmm. you ask her what her beliefs is, most likely she lines up with conservatives. That's what that's what kills me about most black people who always talk about conservatives. Well, Conservatives believe in Jesus. You believe in Jesus. Conservatives believe in less government. You believe in less government. Conservatives believe in most black people believe that they shouldn't get abortions. Conservatives believe there's no abortion. Like it's the same thing, but they always talk about conservatives. Like would you believe the same thing conservatives believe? So, yeah, that's weird though. That's weird though. Like uh, you're from one party, but most of your belief system is for the other. That doesn't make any sense. That's stupid. <laughs> but again, like, because they think people are dumb. And it's like, but I listen, man, I can go on for days with this, but we're going to end this joint. But yeah, we out of yeah. here. Scratch pad. See y'all. Peace. Bye. <laughs>